hello guys welcome to dtwg the prep okay so in today's lesson i'm going to be taking addition and addition is under number sense and we're looking at whole number operations not um, decimals okay and that means my actually my mission and heart desire to try to finish up the ged math um syllabus before the year runs out so you could get your GED this year or early next year 2021 okay so um, if it's your first time on this channel please please click the subscribe button and the notification bell to get instantly notified whenever we upload uh, a video a GED video for you to help you in preparing for your exam and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends family and loved ones and feel free to always comment ask, ask your questions all right and also there's also a GED uh, Facebook group we already have uh, right now I think we're about 500 plus um, aspirants you know trying to get their GED so it's a nice group to in get involved in for motivation to ask your questions all right and I would also respond to you on the group okay so let's get on to the video now so um, addition what's addition it's just used addition is um, used to add up um, combined amounts of um, numbers all right and um, definitely the end result when you combine the, the when you combine those amounts the end result is actually called your sum sometimes you see it uh, what's the sum of so 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 number or what's the total amount so it's actually called a sum or total that's the result of adding all those amounts all right so we're going to take about several examples here all right so um let's say for instance our first example we're told to add 50 plus 149 plus 33 how do we add this up okay now the simplest way to add this up to arrange you first of all you have to arrange this amount in a column format all right so i always advise start with the biggest number all right so what's the biggest let's uh, from the biggest to the smallest let's do it that way okay so what's the biggest we have 149 is the biggest right okay the next is what 50 so you arrange it this 149 you know your place values i think that video will be up soon your place values uh 149 is in the hundreds while uh 50 is in the tenth so put it under the tens that's 50 and also 33 is also in your tens okay so we put it under what the tens which is what one two okay then we draw a line and we add up so here we do a nine plus a zero and what's nine plus zero that is nine and plus three okay and that's nine plus three is twelve so when you have something greater than uh nine when you add up and you have something greater than nine okay you first of all add let's say we have something greater than nine here which is 12 so you put down two okay we have 12 right you put down two and you carry this one here to this four to the next digit up here okay you add up this one to four one plus four is what five and five plus five is what ten okay are you seeing that one plus four is five and 5 plus 5 is 10 then plus another 3 which will give us what 13 okay so you do the same thing since it's greater than 9 all right you add you drop your 3 and you take this one up here to add to this one so and here 1 plus 1 is what 2 we have nothing here which is like saying we have a 0 here so 2 plus 0 is 2 and plus another 0 here is still 2 so we drop down what our 2 so this is our answer 232 two. and you can confirm that with your GED calculator all right and um, later on I'm going to also be doing some videos on how to use your GED calculator for fractions addition and name it percentages name it okay all right so uh, let's do another example again another example says add 145 plus 2 37 plus 90 okay 145 is 145 237 that's the way it's called in maths and this is 90 so as i said earlier to be on the safe side start with the biggest number to the lowest so our biggest number here is what two 
three, seven. So we're arranging them in a column format. The next one is what? One, four, five. And the next is what? 90, which falls under the tens, which is nine, zero. Okay? It's very important. If you miss the arrangement here, you're going to miss your answer. Let's say, for instance, instead of putting 90 here, you put 90 here. That's going to be wrong. You're going to miss the answer. You see, if you use your calculator, you're going to get a different answer. Okay, so let me just quickly uh, reverse that, what I just wrote. Okay, so now let us add this. So we have 7 plus 5, which will give us what? A 12. So we have a 12. 12 is greater than 9. So what do we do? We have, you know, and you know, 12 plus 0 here is still a 12. Okay, so we drop down at 2 and we carry a 1. All right, and if you're finding it um, difficult to add, all right, you can, you know, just um, start uh, learning by using strokes. Okay, just, you know, you have 1, 2, let's say we want to add 7 and 5, you use strokes at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 then plus one two we have five one two three four five then you count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right that's how we got twelve that's if you you find it difficult to add up number just directly in your head okay as in you you understand what i mean so if and i noticed that when you when students learn with strokes okay with um if you learn and practice with strokes uh for a while practice and practice before you know it it would it would become easy for you to easily do it on your head and before you 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 see what's happening you can just add up numbers straightly okay you can also practice this with subtraction all right that's if you're finding it difficult to add up numbers directly try practicing with strokes Okay, practice and practice with strokes and you see it becomes easy for you to mentally do it without using strokes. Okay, it's just a secret. All right. Okay, so we have a two here and we carry this one. So we have this one, you add this one to three and that will give us a four and four plus four will give us eight. And what is 8 plus 9? 8 plus 9 will give us what? 17. So we have 17. So it means we have to drop down our 7 and carry a 1 here. And this 1 plus 2 is what? 3. And 3 plus 1 will give us what? A 4. This is 0 here. So 4 plus 0 is still what? 4. So we'll drop down a 4. So this is our answer. 472. All right, so let's go on to another example. You know, math is all about examples, examples, and examples. So let's add 10, 1, 2, 6, 10,126 plus 762. So as I said, I said earlier on, the biggest number, this is in what? 10,000, okay, in your place value. So we have one zero one two six and this is what in your what hundred so it will fall under the last three uh digits here so we have seven six two okay don't forget your addition sign so let us add this together so this is what sorry we have a three here so let's this is a three here a three here not not one on one okay so we have let's add up now so we have six plus two which will give us what? 8. All right. And 2 plus 6 is also what? 8. Now we have here 3 plus 7, which is what? 10. You know, 10 is greater than what? 9. So it means we have 10. So it means we drop down our 0 and carry what? A 1. All right. So 1 plus this 0 here will give us what? A 1. And there's nothing here. So 1 plus 0 is still 1. And this one here, there's also nothing here. We'll drop down our what? one so this is our answer eleven thousand and what eighty eight so this is the answer this is our sum of this number and this all right so let's do another one let's do a more difficult one here so it says add one hundred and seven thousand seven fifty five plus 
25,442 plus 1,560 plus 350 plus 20. So we have to what, arrange all this, okay? It's already arranged there. So we just, uh, the, from the biggest, we have 107,755. Okay, this is in the hundreds of thousands, and this is in what, 10,000, okay? So it will fall from your place value. Okay, I'm going to quickly release the uh, video on place value so you understand place values, okay? So we have 25,442. All right, this is what in your one thousand. All right, so we have one five six zero, and this is in your what hundreds. We have three five zero, and this is in your tens. We have what twenty. So we are adding up all these amounts. Okay, so here we have five plus two is seven. 7 plus 0 is 7 plus 0 is 7 plus 0 is 7. So we drop down what? R7. The next we have 5 plus 4 is what? 9. Okay. And what is 9 plus 6? 9 plus 6 will give us 15. Okay. 15. And 15 plus 5 will give us what? 20. And 20 plus 2 will give us what? 22. That's see, 9 plus 4. Is what uh, 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 6 15 plus 5 20 and plus 2 is what 22. That's how we got this. So we drop down our 2 and carry this 2 up here. So we add this 2 to 7. So 2 plus 7 is what 9. 9 plus 4 will give us what 13. 13 plus 5 will give us 18. Okay, and 18 plus 3, what would that give us? That would give us what, 21. So, and there's nothing here, so it is 0. So, 0 plus 21 is still what, 21. So, we drop down our 1 and carry what, 2. Okay, so 2 plus 7 is what, 9. And what is 9 plus 5 is what, 14. And 14 plus 1 is what, 15. There's no numbers here, so we drop, we have 15. So we'll drop down a 5 and carry a what 1 here. Alright. So 1 plus 0 is what? So 1 plus 0 is what 1. And that 1 plus 2 will give us what 3. And there's nothing here to add up. So we'll drop down a 3. And finally 1. There's nothing here to add up. Okay. So we'll drop down a 1 here. So what's the answer here? This is 135,000 and a hundred and twenty seven so this is our answer okay so let's do our final word problem another another example final word problem it says what is the total total weight for of the metal bars below so where we have we have this meta bar another one and uh, we have three meta bars from this question question here okay so um, the first meta bar is what 10 pounds the second is what uh, 50 is it that 50? No, 58 pounds. And the final one is what? 243 what pounds. So it asks, it's asking what's the total weight. As I said earlier on, you know, um, the result of um, adding sums is either called a total or what sum. So we have to add up all this what the value of this uh, uh weight of the meta bars bars so as i said earlier on let us start in arranging our numbers uh to add up in column start from the biggest so we have two four three pounds okay and we have 58 this is the next and the final is what 10 don't forget your addition sign rule your line here now we have 3 plus 8. What is 3 plus 8? That's 11. So we we'll drop down our 1 and carry this 1 here. 
1 plus 4 is what? 5. And 5 plus 5 is the 10. And 10 plus this one here is 11. So we'll drop down a 1 and carry this 1 here. You know, we have 11. We'll drop down 1 and carry that 1. So here is what? 1 plus 2. And 1 plus 2 is 3. And we have no numbers here. They are all zero. So two, that's 3. So 3 plus 0 plus 0 is still what? 3. So our final answer is what? 3 here. So we have a final answer as what? 300 and what? 11. Don't forget your units in maths. 11 what? Pounds. So this is the total weight of the meta bar bars. Okay. So you can have this kind of particular question in your GED test where you're just told to write write down okay there will be no option they'll just draw a line write down write the answer here and if you just write 311 you're going to f you're miss a mark okay you have to put the unit okay which is what 311 what pounds okay so it's not just after about adding up if there's a unit please make sure you put your unit beside the value the sum okay so thank you for staying tuned to the first lesson in of addition all right see you in the next lesson on um, subtraction and please don't forget to share this video and subscribe to this channel and also like this video and share and also don't forget jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ for he is the way he is the truth and he is the life okay in him you find everything in him you find joy you find happiness you find peace okay you don't need to struggle no more in him just come to him and he would give you peace okay sorry about the background noise they're just my kids you know snoring <laughs> okay i just have to um be they're quite young and i have to be around them all right okay so thank you for staying tuned see you in our next video bye and don't forget from dtw tutorials you are destined to win